So I found a new guy to listen to. Now he's not saved. He's a psychologist and he's trying to figure life out without God. But he does, he has decoded, kind of like um, everybody else. They decode down to as far as they can get without God. And then they try to make Jesus into a myth or whatever. But they decode it down to almost just like the... Uh, the Gnostics, they get so close, but yet so far. But you can pick out and learn stuff. Pick out stuff and learn. Learn from them, compare it with Scripture, and turn it and flip it back to the truth, you know. Now, they do speak some truth, but it's not based on biblical truth. It's based on just everyday experience or inner. inner. But anyway, the guy, the guy's name's Michael Tessarion. And he does come to the conclusion that I came to in regards to the problem in this reality, the code reveals that Mother Earth is like this. The moon, the 28-day cycle, the machine. But God is moving us from... God, I don't have a water bottle. Yeah, I do. I just bought me a water bottle. God is moving us from this to this. The flesh mind the material realm to a steady state. God is moving us to steady state away from the machine. The mother, so you look at this ground over here, it's got a bunch of curves and waves. This, but you look at that tree and it's upright, it's stable. And so that's what happened. That's really what's happening in this reality. God is moving you from the flesh mind to the spirit mind. And, uh, doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman because you're born, you're born, so you came from man born of woman's full of trouble as a spark flies around. So you're born unstable. You, when you're a kid, you're emotional. So if, let's say, let's say there's a man and woman and the kid's playing in the yard and the kid falls down and scratches his knee and, and cries to the dad. And the dad says something sarcastic like, oh, so you scratched your knee. Oh, you better, oh, it's the end of the world, something like that, but doesn't give the kid a hug or whatever. And the kid runs to the mom, and the mom, and the mom gives the kid the hug, you know. And the mom gets mad at the man and says, you're a mean man, you know. But what's the man doing? The man's trying to make the kid face reality that this is a hard life. A little nick and a little scratch is nothing. Get up and keep going, you know. When you play football when you're a kid and you get hurt, the coach says, walk it off, walk it off. The typology there is walk in the spirit. This earth plane will hurt you, but how do you walk it off? Take up your cross daily and walk it off. Your boss, your co-workers, your mama, your daddy, your friends, your spouse, they, you get abandoned, lied to, abused, whatever. Walk it off. Defamation, false accusations, fake images, fake websites. I mean, the trolls and the lies are so deep because they hate somebody who's telling you you move from the, the material realm to the spirit realm. And I would help them, but they don't. They want to worship the machine. And these are psychopaths. These legalistic Jezebel psychopaths, and, and I'm talking about some of the legalistic preachers too. These are, these are psychopaths. The reason I put this fence up, because this was, this was Jerry Springer right here. I didn't want to come out of the house looking at Jerry Springer. I put the fence up a year later, they go in the backyard and they're not out in the front yard. Do you understand what just happened there? For years, it was Jerry Springer. I built a fence and I put these posts up to say, "Hey, there's a line of de there's a line of demarcation, and there's an upright stand here that you are not me, and I don't associate with your insanity, and I don't argue or laugh with a foolish man where there's no rest." My point is, the post. And the trees and the poles, I got another part I'm building. I'll show you the post. It's just, the, a post represents stability. A post, everything you do in the natural is a sign. The reason, it's, it's, it's multi-dimension. It's multitude, multi-dimensional. I could go around the corner and show you this guy who built a fence. And the guy, I talked to him. 
is a black guy and he's got a good job and he's stable because I was asking him how he's going to fix that fence. One day I was walking around the block, you know, and then a year later he got a nice fence. I didn't care about a nice fence. I just wanted a separation. Because actually, I could tear this fence down in an hour because it's just not even concrete at the end. It's just sand. sand. Like, every time I do this, you have to get back in the car to cut that light out. Anyway, see this pole right here I'm going to show you? When you see somebody putting up a fence or a pole or something, see that pole right there? I'm going to actually build a little separation right here. But anyway, when you see somebody building a fence or a pole, lines of demarcation, stability is what it represents. Uprightness, the mind, no more foolishness, no more drama, no more draconian, no more lies, no more catfish, no more narcissists, no more Jezebels, no more Delilahs. That's what that represents, that fence and that post and these posts in the back. The separation, I'll show you. I don't know if you can see it in the dark. See it, but that's a fence all the way back and going. There's separations. The, the reason for a fence is just to designate a separation. This is why the this is why they attack the temples in the Old Testament. This is why they attack the the holy places and the sacred places. Not calling a place holy necessarily, but it's the heart. It's the separation. It's the sanctification process separating you from the world. The Babylon's just getting worse and worse. It's the same, but it's worse. My point is, my point is, everything that you do, just digging that hole has a type and a shadow, a deeper meaning. Putting that post in there, making it upright, uh, taking, the, taking the level and leveling it here and here, that has a deeper meaning than just Put the, there's more that that post doesn't just mean it's a post it has a deeper meaning is my point 